Hi everyone, and welcome to a new episode of Google Tag Manager. In today's episode, I will show you how you can track PDF downloads from your homepage using Google Tag Manager. Let's get started. I go directly to my dashboard in Google Tag Manager, and I will head to Tags, hit on New, and give my new tag a name, Google Analytic Universal Tag dash downloads PDF. That's the name. Then we need to configure it. It's a universal analytics tag. I'm going to use my variable GA tracking ID, which is a pre-built uh, custom variable set to my actual tracking ID in Google Analytics. The tracking type is an event. And here for the category, I'll give the title Downloads. For the action, I'll give PDF Downloads. For the label, I needed to say whatever is on the link. So this is translated into click text in Google Tag Manager vocabulary. It's a non-interaction hit set to true. That's it. Now moving on to triggering. When do we want this particular tag to be fired? I'm going to start a new tag and give that tri uh, sorry, I'm going to start a new I'm going to start a new trigger and I will give that trigger a name G PDF click URL trigger. Let's start by selecting it as, as a just links trigger type and it will fire on some link clicks depending on this particular rule and the rule is click URL contains dot PDF that's it and I can hit save hit save again. Remember with the new interface there is this cascading uh, type of interface and here is where it has not really updated so you need to refresh. I've seen this happen I'm not sure if it's a bug or or what. There it is. Now it's ready. Once I publish my changes I can actually go back and test it further on my home page Here's my home page, and as you can see, the page views from before has been fired and a hot jar. But now if I click on a PDF document right here, the PDF opens up and if I go back to the page, I see that the download PDF tag has been fired as well. Now if I want to test this even further, I can go into real time, events, and I see that my PDF download has been also uh, tracked right here as an event action. If I click on it, click further on the category, I see the event label which says history document which is exactly what this particular link says. I hope you enjoyed today's video and you are making good use of this Google Tag Manager new interface. Remember to sign up for a new account with WebOck in order to gain more insight into in-depth videos related to the web. Until a new episode, take care.